Here's some great ways to hide text or logos on t-shirts, signs, or really anywhere else where you might want it to be clear. Starting off for something tiny like this, you can do it in literally one click with the spot healing tool. Just select it, adjust its size with our bracket keys so it's just slightly larger than the logo or text, and click. You're done. Let's go to something a bit more complicated though. Here we have a totally normal image with some text that takes up a bit more real estate on the shirt than the logo did. If I try to do the same thing, it's just going to be a mess, even if I increase the size and click it multiple times. Instead, let's use the content aware fill. Get out your polygonal lasso tool because it's the best one and you can fight me on it, and go around the text until you completely surround it to make your selection. Now go up here to edit, fill. It'll pull up this window where you can set the contents to content aware and then hit OK and just like that Photoshop does its magic and uses the surrounding pixels to fill in the space and make it look completely blank. Now just because I know that might not work for every picture you might have, let me go back and show you another method that's a bit more hands on using the patch tool. You'll find it over here in the same spot that the spot healing brush is. Before you start, make sure that the setting is set to normal, not content aware. I'll tell you why in a sec. Now unlike before, for something this big, I don't like to select the whole thing all at once. Do it piece by piece. I'm starting with this flourish here by circling it and then dragging it to a clear spot on the shirt. And although there's a couple spots that aren't perfect, it looks pretty good to me. So just keep going a little bit at a time. The reason we wanted to set it to normal and not content aware is because with normal, it knows that we want to keep the color the same, whereas with content aware, it thinks we want the color of the reference point, which means unless your image has consistent lighting and texture along every inch of it, it's gonna look blotchy and gross like this. So just keep going with the normal settings, and then once you've got all the big parts out of the way, you can either keep cleaning up the wonky areas with the patch tool, or you can switch back to your spot healing brush and do it that way. And those are just a few ways you can get rid of text in Photoshop. I'll see you next time. Even though working on design projects may be a lot of fun, it's still incredibly time consuming and even challenging. To help you save time while still creating good work, we've got design templates for Photoshop, which allow you to finish projects within minutes instead of hours. So if you wanna get started saving time now, start by checking out our links in the description below.